The harsh circumstances Formula One drivers encountered in Qatar went beyond the limit of what was acceptable. In a dangerous race that saw drivers passing out in the car, vomiting in their helmets, dropping out of the race, and collapsing in the aftermath. The suffocating heat in LaSalle, along with the high-speed nature of the circuit and mandatory tire stint lengths that resulted in more flat-out racing rather than tire conservation, took a heavy toll on the bulk of the F1 field. This gave us some spectacular racing, but amidst all the chaos, there was one driver that disappointed again, Sergio Perez. It's a familiar story as one half of the Red Bull racing garage rejoices, the other struggles. Is his position within the team still secure? Or will we see the last five races of Checo for Red Bull in the coming months? Team boss Christian Horner has opened up about his driver's performance and future. Sergio Perez was only able to earn one point in Qatar after receiving numerous penalties during the race at LaSalle. The Mexican is only 30 points ahead of Lewis Hamilton in the Drivers' Championship, having only collected a single point after finishing 10th in Qatar. Perez had finished 9th on the track but slid to 10th due to a 5-second penalty added to his race time. Perez received a black and white flag after three track restriction infractions at the Qatar Grand Prix and a five-second time penalty with his fourth. After serving this penalty at his pit stop, he soon received another five-second time penalty for exceeding track restrictions for the fifth time, which he served at his final stop. He would then go over track restrictions again in the final stages and this time would be added to his racing time. And just as track limits were Perez's undoing in qualifying on Friday, they were again in the Grand Prix. If Red Bull had become tired by the time Perez received his second penalty, engineer Hugh Bird was particularly deadpan in his delivery that this is hurting our race. It must have been beyond itself when a third, issued after the race, dropped Perez behind Joe. After failing to capitalize on Lewis Hamilton's retirement to secure second position in the Drivers' Championship, Red Bull team boss Christian Horner was blunt in his post-race press conference. Checo Perez has had a bit of a shocker of a race, Horner said. He's had a horrible weekend. The incident yesterday, and then unfortunately the three penalties that he got in the race. Without those penalties, when you add 15 seconds to his time, suddenly he's a lot further up the points, scoring on a day that Lewis didn't score, so it was a missed opportunity to really try and cement that second place. But we just need to get that form that he showed at the beginning of the season back and we know he's got it within him. Sergio Perez is not at his best, according to Christian Horner. With Perez's new misfortune coming barely 24 hours after his retirement from the sprint, as well as a disastrous race in Japan, Horner stated that Red Bull is committed to help the Mexican driver recover. Nothing's really fundamentally changed that much, Horner said. So I think that you can see that he's got into a little bit of a spiral, and he just needs to sort of put the brakes on that and reset. Use this period, the two weeks now, to come back in Austin, another sprint weekend, and really attack it and do the best that he can and extract the most out of himself like he was at the beginning of the year. We're determined. We're not seeing the best of Sergio. We need to unpick what it is that's causing this slump in form from him, and we're going to support him as much as we can to achieve that. Hamilton's retirement on lap 1 provided Perez a great opportunity to tighten his grip on second place in the Drivers' Championship. It's disturbing that he didn't take it. Could this one have serious consequences for Perez down the line? Perez has been underperforming all season, and when looking at the intra-team battle where Verstappen is up 15-2 in both race and qualifying, it's not weird to think Perez could be replaced anytime soon. And according to team president Christian Horner, Red Bull must sit down with Sergio Perez and go back to basics, or risk losing second place in the 2023 Formula 1 Drivers' Championship. Red Bull team principal Horner claimed after the race that Perez needed to be taken aside because the team desperately needed him to find his form in order to maintain the runner-up slot. I think we really need to sit down with Checo because we know what he's capable of and he's not hitting that form at the moment, Horner added. We desperately need him to find that form to keep this second place in the championship. So it was frustrating that he's only come out of the weekend with one point and I think he could have, even starting from the back of the grid, there was an opportunity to score heavily today or decently. But we'll support him as much as we can because there's a triple header coming up. There's a huge amount of points with sprint races as well. Warner is hoping that the crowd support Perez will receive over the next three races, including his home race in Mexico City, would help him regain confidence. He added that Perez needed to put his foot on the floor to stop the merry-go-round and then go back to basics. I think you just need to sometimes sort of take your foot off, put it on the floor, stop the merry-go-round and just go back to basics. That's what we'll do. 
We all know what Checo is capable of, and we want to support him to get back into a position where, even as near ago as Monza, he was finishing in second place to Max. The questions for Christian Horner only got worse as reporters were trying to get quotes out of the Red Bull camp, suggesting that Sergio Perez might get thrown out of his squad this year. Thus, Horner was bombarded with questions regarding Sergio Perez and his future following the Qatar Grand Prix. Horner's response was one he's uttered so many times. We are standing behind him, and we know what he's capable of. Yet in Qatar, Perez was not at all the driver Horner believes he has the potential to be. His finish was 10th, while teammate Verstappen won. How is it that Perez keeps falling through the ice? I think with a car like we have, he's probably putting that pressure on himself, Horner said. The most important thing for us is winning both the championships. We've done that. What's the next best thing after that? It would be to have both your drivers first and second. You can see Mercedes have a pair, McLaren have a pair, and Ferrari have a pair, which are quite tight between the respective drivers. We've had that at the earlier point in the year, but as the season has gone on, it's become more variant and we just need to get Checo back to the best form that he's capable of. Horner certainly does not write off Perez outwardly. Sport at the highest echelon is always a mental game as much as a physical game. I think that Checo mentioned that he's working with a coach in that area, and I think that's what we need to unlock with him to give him his confidence. It is critical for Red Bull Racing to have two drivers who take structural points. In 2023, the points Max Verstappen earns by itself will most likely be enough to secure the constructors' title. However, in terms of performance, the rivalry is growing closer and closer. It's possible that Red Bull may need Perez even more next season to compete for the constructors' title. Warner realizes this very well. The frustration is that we know what Checo has been capable of doing, and of course last year and this year, he's contributed significantly to the Constructors' Championship. I think that we desperately want him to find that form, and as a team, we need him to. We can't afford to have a big split because if, as you would expect, the grid continues to concertina next year, we need both drivers delivering at the top of the game. If someone fails to perform, Red Bull is notorious for being quite tough. There are several cases of drivers getting sacked in the middle of the season. It's easy to think that Perez's patience will wear thin at some point. When asked about it, Horner avoids using fancy terms. As I say, we're going to give all the support that we possibly can for Checo to find his form. You guys will beat him up enough, I'm sure, but we really want to see him achieve what we know he's capable of. So, for now at least, for us on the outside, it's looking like Perez will be given another chance once again. But will this be the case when the competition will be able to challenge the Red Bulls? And is it fair for Red Bull to try and save face for Perez after such a grueling race? As with the mandatory pit stops, it was quite a task for the teams to find the right strategy and not to forget about the circumstances. But where one Red Bull driver failed, the other excelled once again as Max Verstappen won his 14th race of the season and his third consecutive Drivers' Championship this weekend. Strategically, there was a maximum stint length for each team, so we know when everyone would eventually stop. The reason we delayed the last stop with Max was because we wanted to cover a late safety car and to see what the rest were doing. In terms of strategy, it was mainly coming to the end of the race. Max delivered an incredible performance, his 14th win of the year. Having both championships in the bag will surely mean that Red Bull will focus on next year's fight, right? You might think so, but Horner points out it makes little difference in the remaining races. No, absolutely. There are still five races to go, two sprint races. So we want to continue until the end of this championship. There is still a lot to race for, and the way the team is performing, it has again been incredible this year. I guess we'll be seeing Verstappen on that top step a couple more times this season. But the big question will be if we'll see Perez anywhere near the podium in the last five race weekends this season. What are your thoughts? Is Perez's position still safe? Or should Red Bull kick him out before he brings the Constructors' Championship in danger next year? If so, who could even replace him? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below.